What's going on? I'm Ryan Nyquist, and I'm here to tell you about a trick called the over double peg and back on a spine. So the first thing you want to do when you're doing this trick is, uh, well, you probably should be able to do double peg stalls, which means that you probably should have pegs in your bike as well. Um, I've seen guys do it without, but I think it's a lot easier with. So speed wise, do some double pegs on the spine first, and then you might want to go a slight bit faster just to be able to have your wheels clear the spine and go over. Placing the pegs on the coping seems like it might be kind of difficult, but really you're only moving like basically the width of your tire that much further over the spine. So um, one of the things I tend to do is when I when I go to put my pegs on there, I kind of lean, like just kind of push my bike over just a little bit, and that just basically places my tire on the other side of the spine. But that would put your pegs perfectly lined up, and like, you know if you have the right speed, you're not going to go super high, and so it, it takes a lot of the risk out of it. Pulling back in is sort of like a bunny hop, but you. When you're bunny hopping, it's kind of you have a whole lot of momentum back and then you raise up. If you do that on the spine, more than likely your back peg's gonna slip and you're gonna have nothing to pull on. So after you basically land on your pegs, you can hop really quick back over or you can kind of hang out. And a lot of times if your balance is off, you can kind of adjust. Like if you're if you land on pegs and you're automatically falling over the spine, you can kind of adjust your body to get that lean back over, you know, to get be able to hop. But it all depends, I mean, it's all preference. I personally like to just kind of get on and get off real quick. It just kind of keeps the momentum going and I think it looks cleaner than sitting there and doing the, you know, like a weird kind of dance, shoulder dance and then hopping back over. It's a quick, just little like burst of energy. You yank it and because your body's already leaned, when you yank up, your tire's already clearing the coping. So all you have to do then is just basically lean forward and ride away. 